fake reality shows people actually believed were real. Reality TV is popular because you see how people react when scenarios aren't scripted. Unfortunately, many reality shows aren't based on reality. Changes are often made and scenes are set up to get people watching. Just because a show claims to be reality TV doesn't mean that parts aren't scripted or set up. Some shows even make the cast reshoot things that happened when the cameras weren't rolling. Here's a list of the most fake reality shows people actually believed were real. South Beach Toe South Beach Toe was a popular reality show thanks to the show's antics. Bernice was a fan fave even though she managed to do things that no average person could do. For example, in one episode, she removed a car door with her bare hands and survived a massive fall but managed to get the car anyway. Although these scenes prove the show isn't real, it was still entertaining to watch. Duck Dynasty The Robertson family from Louisiana ran a duck hunting business, and it was their rise to fame. The cast members are related by blood or marriage, but the show wasn't as real as most people believe. The producers were famous for adding dramatic components to make the viewers tune in every week and manufacture drama. Also, you hear beeps throughout the show to cover foul language, and it turns out the beeps were added for dramatic effect, even when no foul language was used. Hardcore Pawn Hardcore Pawn followed the Gold family as they ran their pawn shop in Detroit's most dangerous 8 Mile neighborhood. Plenty of interesting people went into the store with items to sell, and many were hard to believe. This is because many of the sellers were actors. Also, what are the odds that Les, Seth, or Ashley would get into a fight on every episode? The odds are low, and the producers staged many arguments to attract more viewers. Project Runway Project Runway was a top-rated show. However, according to former contestants, the show isn't as real as they want you to think. Daniel DeQuivel and Jack McEnroth have expressed their dissatisfaction with the judging and claim the show's creators set everything up to add drama and to sensationalize some contestants artificially. Ghost Hunters Since its debut, Ghost Hunters has been popular and inspired a few spin-off shows. People loved that people were chasing ghosts and finding proof they existed. Despite the show's popularity, many people have accused the show of being scripted, and this was corroborated by Donna LaCroix the former case manager. It only takes one rumor of a reality show being scripted for it to lose viewers, which is precisely what happened with Ghost Hunters. The Jerry Springer Show If you've ever watched at least one episode of The Jerry Springer Show, you know that it's absolutely outrageous, thanks to the guests. Between the crazy stories and fistfights, it's easy to tell that the show isn't 100% real. Many of the guest stories were exaggerated, and so were their reactions. Also, the production crew energized the crowd to add to the drama. The show was entertaining and made for great TV, but you weren't watching something real. Fixer Upper There are plenty of things about Fixer Upper that aren't real. For example, each family is shown three houses to choose from, but they had already chosen and purchased their homes before filming began. The other two houses are added to make the show more interesting. Joanna Gaines is the designer and arranges the furniture and decor just right to give the house a personal touch. You may not know that everything Joanna does in the house isn't paid for, and they must pay extra if the family wants to keep the furniture and decor. Also, there are reports that Chip doesn't work on the houses and only does when the cameras are running, and the hired contractors do most of the work. Chip and Joanna Gaines have other reality shows, which makes you wonder if they're fake. Keeping Up With The Kardashians Keeping Up With The Kardashians was one of the top-rated shows on E! People believed the show wasn't real from the very beginning thanks to Kim's infamous sex tape. It's believed, and a few anonymous sources have confirmed, that Chris released the sex tape for publicity reasons, and the family's outrage was all fake. There are also instances where scenes were reshot to make things more exciting. According to court records filed in Kim and Chris Humphrey's divorce records, at least two scenes involving Chris H. were scripted or reshot. Also, the show relies heavily on editing to make the storylines more exciting. Keeping Up With The Kardashians is now off the air, and the family's new show, The Kardashians, likely uses the same practices to ensure the viewers keep watching. Storage Wars Storage Wars is a popular show. 
podcast members own stores and they get a lot of their merchandise from unclaimed storage units that they bid on during the show. When Dave Hester was fired, he disclosed that the show was written, shocking fans. The disgruntled former cast member also says many of the goods found in the lockers are staged before being recovered to make the show more interesting. Finally, Dave claims that the cast interviews are scripted. This was a massive letdown for diehard fans. Jersey Shore Jersey Shore premiered on MTV in 2009. The show followed a group of 20-somethings while spending a summer at a shore house on the Jersey Shore. There was a lot of drama from the first episode, which didn't end throughout the show's run. According to several locals and extras on the set, much of what happened on the show was pre-planned. For example, an attorney who lived across the street from the shore house says the group's outings were rehearsed. In addition, there are claims that some scenes were reshot from different viewpoints. Several years after filming ended, Jersey Shore Family Reunion debuted, and it's believed that the new show uses the same format as the original to add as much drama and conflict as possible. Say Yes to the Dress Kleinfeld in New York is a popular store for wedding gowns and is the set of Say Yes to the Dress. It's a reality show filmed in the store as brides search for the perfect wedding dress. The producers screen guests who attend the bride's appointment beforehand, look for outspoken women, and ask them to repeat or emphasize a point to add drama. Also, the boutique is much smaller than it appears on screen, and many brides to be are shocked when they visit the store. Cupcake Wars Cupcake Wars is a bake off, and four bakers from all around the United States compete in three rounds. The winner is featured at an event and showcases 1,000 cupcakes on a stand designed by them with the help of a professional builder. Contestants must make cupcakes using ingredients that aren't typically found in cupcakes, and according to reports, the contestants know what items they'll need before filming. If you're surprised that the bakers can come up with great ideas using the assigned ingredients, don't be. They had plenty of time to decide what to make, and the ideas don't come to them immediately. Naked and Afraid Naked and Afraid has been popular since the first season. It's a survival show, and a male and female are left in a remote area of the world naked and expected to work together to last 21 days in the wild without any help from production. The only time you'll see anyone other than the contestants is when someone needs medical attention. According to several former contestants, other conveniences are given that you wouldn't normally find in the wild, such as tampons, vitamins, and prescription medication. These are necessities, and prescription medication is essential to the well-being of the cast members. So the show isn't technically fake, but they don't show the contestants receiving these necessities. It's easy for rumors to start that the whole show is fake, which isn't the case. Basketball Wives Basketball Wives is a reality show that follows the lives of women married to prominent basketball players. Unfortunately, not everyone was happy to participate in the show, and former cast member Matt Barnes is one of them. He's been outspoken about his anger about how the show was staged and the drama was fabricated. According to another former cast member, Tanya Young, the producers pushed the cast to turn on each other to make the show as dramatic as possible. Cake Boss Cake Boss was a smash hit from the very beginning. The show follows Buddy Velastro, a cake shop owner who makes incredible cake designs. Unfortunately, the show isn't as real as the producers want you to believe. For starters, Buddy is rarely at the shop unless they're filming. Also, some weddings and celebrations aren't real, and extras are used to act out the festivities. Long Island Medium Teresa Caputo is a medium and has gained a reputation for connecting people with their dead loved ones. Unfortunately, Teresa's reality show, Long Island Medium, relies less on her abilities as a medium and more on information provided by the audience. Teresa is given access to the questions answered by the audience, background checks, and social media to learn more about the people brought on stage before they're called. The show would have been better off if they just relied on Teresa's abilities, and depending on audience information turned people off from the show, resulting in its cancellation. Britain's Got Talent Britain's Got Talent is similar to the American version, People with talent in singing, dancing, magic, and other various talents perform for the judges, hoping to make it to the finals and eventually be crowned champion. In 2005, Britain's Got Talent fans were amazed by one act that won the show. It was a dog performance called Jules and Matisse, and 
it was rigged. The real Matisse was too scared for the High Wire Act, so the producers stepped in and brought a dog to the set that looked just like Matisse, who wasn't afraid to do the High Wire Act. This is less than fair to the other contestants who didn't have help from the producers. Love Island Love Island is a combination of Survivor and The Bachelor. Contestants are promised money, romance, and the chance to win in paradise, but the show isn't as real as you think. Contestants are encouraged by the producers to pair up and everything is written, from the intimate scenes to the arguments. The producers look at the final takes to choose the most realistic ones that make it on screen. It's supposed to be a reality show, but since most of it's scripted, technically it's not a reality show. The Hills The Hills was a hit MTV reality show that followed Lauren Conrad, the former star of Laguna Beach, and her friends. You could expect teenage drama, backstabbing, and romantic instability on every show, but it isn't as real as you might think. For example, Lauren's work friends weren't working at the jobs before her, and the producers cast them to give Lauren someone to talk to about the drama in her life. Also, the scenes that show the ladies at lunch catching up were scripted. According to the show's villain, Spencer Pratt, there were times that a sequence had to be shot 15 times and he was outraged when Heidi's pregnancy scare was included in the show. In the show's final scene, Brody Jenner pushes away a background, basically telling viewers that the show was fake from the very beginning. Last Comic Standing The Last Comic Standing was a popular show back in the day. The show was about discovering undiscovered comedians who were offered cash awards and exposure for competing on the show. The show easily could have been a hit on its own, but the producers stepped in early on. They influenced the voting without the contestants or judges' knowledge, and people were furious when the winner was announced. Also, there have been reports that the show would cut good performances to make them look terrible to add a flair or drama. These changes were unnecessary, however. The contestants were funny enough to carry the show without setting things up, which is part of the reason why the show was eventually canceled. Catfish Catfish is a reality show that helps people who have been catfished online figure out who they're really talking to. Neve and Max speak to the victim and then do their own research to find the catfisher and bring them out to admit their wrongdoing. What you may not know is that the producers reverse the application process. It isn't the victim who signs up to be on the show, it's actually the catfisher who applies. The show is basically real, except that Neve and Max already know who the catfisher is from the beginning, and the research is entirely fake. Hometown Hometown is a home renovation show starring Ben and Aaron Napier. Many things are real about the show, like the couple's status as a happily married couple. Also, Ben is a woodworker and Aaron is really a designer. There's one thing about the show that isn't real. The furniture in the couple's real-life shop, Lauren Mercantile, is used in the final reveal. Most of the staged items are taken back unless the homeowners are willing to pay the extra cost to keep the furniture and can keep anything custom-made by Ben, 